Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Durham Brewery and it's their Cloister Premium Bitter coming in at 4.5% ABV. Bottle conditioned, quite clearly marked bottle conditioned, so we know what to expect. Uh, the beer has English, American and Czech hops in this. In this brew. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing what we uh, get from this beer. Okay, colour wise. Colour-wise, look at that, it's, it's very much looking like a golden ale. It's just golden in colour. Nice levels of carbonation. See it streaming away there. It's a three-finger head. It's pure white. It's a pure white head there. Let's see if we can get some more of this. Beer in a glass. Okay, so let's get a nose. Just get a bit of the um, where the head's dissipated. It's just a little bit of like that carbonating nose there you get. But it smells bready. I'm getting bready a breadiness in there. Not too big. Mixed with a bit of spice. Like a peppery spice on this one. Let's give it a taste. Cheers everyone. Oh yes. Yes, this is this is lovely. It's been, you know, it's been probably a good fortnight, a good two weeks since I've had a really multi backbone beer, and this is this is superb. This is absolutely superb. It's very very bready. It's not a sweet bread. It's with a malt. It's not overly sweet, but it's like that freshly baked bread taste. That is really, really nice. Really nice. Very, I find them very thirst quenching when they taste like this. <sighs> Me. But before the breadiness, the hops are there. For me, it's just um, a slight kind of spicy, peppery beginning. And that is swiftly... Oh, mind you, yes, there's something else coming now as well. I'm, I'm, now I'm having a, a waft of bitterness right at the end. But it's calming, I say waft, it's not a waft of bitterness, it's, it's more of a calming, subtle, creeping, creeping up on you bitterness. So again, hops to begin with, spicy peppery hops, a nice bready middle, and then a, a creeper of a bitter on the end. And it's just, it's just bitterness you're getting. See if we can get a taste on the end. Let's, because I was concentrating on the on the start of the beer. That time there was a hint, a very small hint of lemon, on the start. And it's for me. This is. 
It's just bitter on the end. It's hard to describe this just bitter finish. It doesn't taste, on the end I mean, it don't taste anything like a, a bitter grapefruit or a bitter lemon. You're getting that to begin with, the bitter lemon. But there's no, there's no, no real defining taste as to why it's bitter. It's just bitter. The beer as well is a little dry. It's a little dry. I think that's probably coming from the Czech hops. Or the yeast. I know Durham Brewery, they love their Belgium style yeasts. Mmm. But it's quite intriguing because there are times when you get a 4.5% bitter and you just want to sit back and enjoy it and drink it and not really think about it too much. But this for 4.5% has got a lot of flavour. I'm, ha I'm thinking, I'm having to think because I'm reviewing it. But I think I'd think about it anyway if I bought this beer and I wanted to just relax with it and not think about tasting beer. If that makes any sense to you beer bloggers out there. Sometimes you just want to switch off. I think I'd find myself looking for um, different flavours in this beer, which I'm doing now. Let's see, Matt, see how much conditioning is in this beer. And then we'll give out the website and the rating. Oh wow, yeah, this is quite... Look at that. There's a lot of yeast there in the bottom of the glass. It's the second fermentation process. What happens is the the first fermentation process happens in the the vessels and then they stop it and then they start it again in the bottle and it adds it adds to the flavors it adds to the carbonation and it's just the way they used to bottle condition or the, the, the way they used to carbonate beers was this very very popular again old-fashioned way of carbonating a beer or the original way of carbonating a beer Okay, final taste. Right, it's www.durhambrewery.co.uk. Check these guys out. There you go. So the Durham Brewery Cloister, premium bitter. The premium in front of the bitter is well worthy of um, being put there. It is a premium bitter. Would I go for it again? Most definitely. I'd like to try it on cask. This gets an 8 out of 10 for me. 8 out of 10. It's just, there's enough, there's enough there to keep it very interesting. And there's enough flavours for you to go, hang on. I want to pull more flavours, which I'll do after the review. But thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, subscribe if you like, and cheers.